Well, folks, your boy has done it again. A uh, kerfuffle, a predicament, a mishap, some would say. I made a mistake that then snowballed into a plethora of issues, and I'm just now realizing that I've used several large words uh, within the first 30 seconds of this video, so I am setting the bar way too high. I'm just gonna need you to lower that expectation a little bit. Thank you. But yes, I fucked up. I made a mistake. <laughs> well, I hope you guys really enjoyed <laughs> my ASMR video with my acrylic nails because I am a fucking idiot. Go ahead, sound off in the comments below. So I had my acrylic nails on, right? Just on this one hand. So I was having trouble getting them off and it actually started to really hurt my fingers. So my friend tells me to soak them in acetone. Nail polish remover. Okay, makes sense. So what do I do? I get myself a nice cup and I fill it with acetone. Not thinking that acetone will destroy a plastic cup. This was filled enough for me to get all my fingers in there. They came off and it poured out all over my black dresser started peeling the paint off of my dresser then i hear a noise i hear a sizzling a camera battery which evidently does not do well with acetone do these blow up i don't know i've kind of quarantined it to this fucking plate right here Hoping it doesn't b literally blow up in my face. At least I got my Flaming Hot Cheetos. I have a feeling I'm not going to learn a lesson from this. Why do I do these things? <laughs> 2019. I don't know what to do. And I kicked my cat out of here because it smells. The fumes are burning my eyes. My skin is basically falling off. You know what? Things could be worse. Look on the bright side. I'll think about it. There has to be something good that comes out of this. Yeah, no, there wasn't. My dresser is completely fucked, but uh, don't worry because the dumb assery does not end there. Because later that night, my friends came over for the Eagles game and I made mozzarella sticks in the air fryer. All right, guys, the saga continues. Um, how's your day going? <laughs> Can you show me your background? That small one. Who is he? So I told Carly that I need an enema, and she said she had them. She said she would bring them to my house. So she brought... This. I thought we had flax seeds, but we only have chia seeds, because I wanted to say we have flax, but we okay. Okay. So Monday comes and my work week begins. Now I usually don't film during the week because I do have a full-time nine to five job as well as doing a whole bunch of other shit when I'm not doing YouTube. But um, my week goes by and before I know it, Friday comes by like a sweet kiss from a hot stranger at a sorority party. And before I knew it, I was on my way home from work for the weekend. There's a car behind me right now with its fucking high beams on. The sun isn't even down. Y'all can see the sky. If you need high beams to drive at 5 o'clock in the afternoon while the sun is still up, get your chode off the road is all I can say. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Also, don't vlog and drive. Do as I say, not as I do. Thank you. Bye. Wait, how did you get up there? This is so nasty, but I made mac and cheese last night. 
and there's a fucking entire galaxy in it. I'm telling you, find beauty in everything, even your dirty dishes. What if we're all just like a speck of curdled cheese in somebody's fucking dirty pot from when they made mac and cheese? Look at it. Like, there could be lives in there. Like, that's... In a whole pop. Hi! Oh my god, do that again, do it again. No, oh my god. Later that night, I went to my friend Sarah's house to record our podcast. If you guys didn't know, uh, I record a podcast with my best friend Sarah. It's called Esoteric Oddities. You can listen to us on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, which is pretty much the same thing, uh, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, pretty much anywhere you listen to podcast. I will link everything for the podcast in the description of this video. Essentially, we talk about true crime, haunted shit, UFOs. If you're into creepy shit, weird shit, and a bunch of ridiculous banter between two idiots, uh, if that's your jam, then you might want to check out our show because that's pretty much it. But would it be a day in the life if something mildly dramatic did not happen to me? So I'm merging onto the highway and this person whips it in front of me. Mind you, there was enough room in their lane to stay in their lane, but do they stay in their lane? Absolutely not. Listen, honey, you don't have to stay in your lane, but you gotta stay the fuck out of mine. This person whips it into my lane, almost hits my car, starts speeding off in front of me, and I notice that it's an Uber. There's like an Uber sticker on it. So I start speeding up because I'm kind of pissed. I'm hitting like maybe 75 and we're like not even on a highway. So then I'm like, okay, let me fucking slow down because they're driving like an insane person. I take down their license plate number. Once we get on the highway, we end up merging on the highway. They're like slamming on the brakes. They're weaving in and out of traffic without using their fucking turn signal. So what do I do? I report the mother. I don't care if you were working at Uber or not. You know, I'm going online. You have that Uber sticker. You are representing yourself with the company and you're driving like a fucking asshole. Okay. So, and here's my thing. I don't even want to say, it's not even that. It's, it's not even petty. Is it petty? It might be. But when I was a freshman, I was about 14 years old. I had just moved to Pennsylvania from Illinois and there was one girl, she was in my homeroom, and for some reason, I didn't know her. She was one of like the popular girls. I picked up on that really quick. And she wanted to make my life like a living hell. Like she would go out of her way. She wouldn't say anything to me in person. She would do all the shit online on MySpace what's good and so our school at the time had this program that if you were worried one of your friends was like drinking or doing drugs you could anonymously report them so what did i do i anonymously reported the bitch does that mean i don't have a backbone because i did it anonymously yes so i wrote in a little note that i'm so worried about my friend she's been coming to school a little bit late she's kind of smelling like alcohol mind you i knew on her myspace she had pictures of her drinking when we were 14. they call her into the office and i hear her talking about how this whole situation has gotten her in so much trouble and it's like tearing her family apart and her parents are now fighting i got to hear about it in homeroom every morning and i just sat there with my back turned to her and i was like this bitch doesn't even know that it's me um Basically, her parents ended up getting a divorce. I, it was gonna happen anyway. I just kind of kick-started the catalyst there. But, moral of the story is, don't fuck with me. Thank you. But everything panned out after recording the podcast, and then I went home to play Candyland with my friends, who are adults. Just a couple of adults playing Candyland. Um, we drugs. It's a Friday night. <laughs> So the following morning I had plans to go see Mary Poppins Returns with my parents and my brother and you bet your tight little ass I wore the same exact sweatshirt from the day before. Well it looks like someone just can't hang like they used to. I feel like a lot of people need to go back to driving school. It's the craziest thing. Like, people don't really know how to merge or have any consideration. Like, it's every other. You go one at a time. This isn't a college bukkake. I'm sorry. I'm only letting one in at a time. If you would have called me a couple years ago. <laughs> I'm kidding. Jesus. You guys, I just saw a billboard. They are putting up a Gumby museum by my parents' house, and I'm... Moister than an oyster!
My mom got me hot sauce that has marijuana in it. Oh, Jonathan. Megatron. Check out my vape. What is that, Dad? It's a photoelectric sensor. Hey guys, I'm coming to you pre-recorded from my toilet. Um, we just saw Mary Poppins. It was really good. My dad dropped a glass. Never a dull moment. Keeping up with the carcinogens. So after our matinee show, I headed over to my friend Carly's house. Uh, we pretty much just planned on going to Home Goods and then having like a chill Saturday night in, but uh, turns out that's not exactly what happened. We're taking Daddy's car tonight. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. <laughs> Is this a sprite? <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. I found the friend. Really? Yes. What do we think of the outfit of the day? What? What's going on here? <laughs> Looks like a nipple piercing. She's searching for 50 cents for me. You know what? I'll do you a favor. It's fine. I'll just take the 20. It's fine. Okay. What is that? Hey, while you aim to get a hole in one, I'm aiming to get one in my hole. Bitch stole my look. Badass though. Ow! <laughs> There's always that one bitch. Ew, do not! You really just put your lips on that, huh? You really... <laughs> okay. Ten whole tickets! I should be helping, but I'm relaxing. Um, that's a yes. So, I don't know how to work this bed, but it comes with a remote. <gasps> Y'all, this is some exorcist shit. Okay, <gasps> stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, wait, oh my god, this mattress folded in half. Wait, this mattress folded in half, wait. Carly! Carly! Wait, okay, there's a zero G button, does that mean zero gravity? Oh my god. <laughs> Baby, I'm already Tracer. I'm already Tracer. What about Widowmaker? I'm already Widowmaker. I'm Big Bass Bob. Nerf Bastion. <laughs> I look like a clown. Mm, country boy, I love you. Well, is the bed plugged in? <laughs> yes. Hey guys, it's me. I have to plug in my bed. Who needs to plug in their bed? This lighting is homophobic. I hate it. Thank you. Uh, you win some, you dim some. Uh, the light is dimmable. <laughs> it's snowing and our power has been flickering. Help! That's what my life looks like. It really does. Babe, believe in yourself. She looks like she was born. Oh my god, her shoes are ten sizes too big! Her shoes are fucking huge! That's why she can't walk! Uh, does she have implants in her shins? <gasps> Okay, I'm not body shaming, but what was going on behind her leg? Okay, oh. Look, she, she knows what's up. 
have your graduation party here. What's happening? <laughs> so when we woke up the next morning in that folding bed from hell, uh, we looked out the window to see that there was a surprisingly small amount of snow than we anticipated. We could go ice skating on the pool. We're being told that DC is getting 10 inches. I don't know who she is, but she's one lucky lady. America, America, this is you. Later that night, Carly and I made tacos for our friends while watching the football game. Surprisingly, we didn't f anything up. However, the Eagles did lose. Uh, personally, I think if both football teams just set their differences aside and worked together, they could really end up scoring more points. But what do I know? I'm just a fruitcake with a camera and an attitude problem. Go sports!